Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my guardian angel messages tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot. Darlings, I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. And please know I give you these messages from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not, okay, babies? Not every message will be for you. So, Cancer, let's see what message or messages we have for you. So Cancer, this is for you. We got the King of Air. I don't know if this is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, but this energy is in the past. We got the Five of Water. You felt a little disappointed by this energy here. Some regrets, maybe some forgiveness, but whatever it is, babies, you got the star. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't you let go. Keep the faith and the hope alive. That's past energy. You got the ten of air. There was some type of ending. But this is an ending that it, it hurt. It broke you down. But it felt, you felt relieved afterwards. Okay, maybe not instantaneously. But you will feel the relief, okay? You got the ace of air. You're going to have mental clarity. You got the wise counselor. You gained a lot from this situation here. You got the Queen of Water, I would say that's you, Cancer. You got the Lovers, might be a Gemini, that King of um, Air might be a Gemini, or maybe you need to make decisions about the heart. And you got the King of Water, I don't know, is that you again, or is that another energy? Another Cancer? A Pisces or a Scorpio? Hmm? Gotta make some choices. So let's see. You got the King of Air. Let's clarify for Cancer. On top of the king of air, or king of air, we got the balance card, we got the three of wands, and we got the chariot. Mm. Something came in real fast with this energy. Seemed like you were balanced. It was balanced and plans were being made. And it was pretty successful. You got the balance card, you got the three of wands, and you got the chariot on top of the king of swords. Then you have the five of cups here, which is the five of water. Disappointed, regrets. You got to make a decision here. It's a decision you need to make. It's decision time. And this is a decision in regards to you opening the way up for a new beginning. But the ball is in your court. I'm speaking to everybody here. All my cancers, okay? You got the Knight of Fire. 
They're very passionate. Now, this could be some impulsive kind of energy, all right? So don't just up and make that decision. Think about it. But you got to make a decision in order for that new beginning to come in, okay? And again, this is past energy. You got to stop crying over that spilt milk. And then you have the star card. Keep the faith. Keep the hope alive. Don't you give up. You keep your eye on the prize and you keep moving forward. Even if you stumble along the way, you keep moving forward. On top of the star card, we got the moon. We got the nine of cups and we got the ace of wands. The moon is about revelations, things coming clear, becoming clear, clarity, being revealed. Everything is out in the open now. No, you got to make a choice. Your wishes will come true. And you got the Ace of um, Wands. It's an amazing new opportunity for you. You got the Moon. You got the Nine of Cups. And you got the Ace of Wands. So all that looks well. Then suddenly, here we go. We got the Ten of Air ending. An ending, recovery, and freedom. So there was an ending... You recovered from it, and now you feel free. I feel like I'm going to fall off this chair. You see how this chair is? I've been all the way in the corner here. It's because of these animals, you know. <sighs> anyway. Um, so, ten of air. You feel free now. Hmm, time for you to pursue some things, huh? I don't know, something romantic coming in here. Romantic, flirtatious. We got the king and the queen of pentacles. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn here. This, this energy here is financially stable. They have, they're prosperous. They know how to take care of the money. But there's some energy that's coming into you, coming coming towards you after this ending. And it might be in the form of an earth energy. A Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. We got the Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. And now we got the Ace of Air, Mental Clarity. Mental clarity where a fire energy is concerned. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, you got a lot of energy up in here, Cancer. Well, this is you anyway. The, the Queen of Cups is you. You're paying attention to the details where financial details where this um, fire energy is concerned. If you're paying attention. You're waiting for the perfect time for something. You have a guardian angel or someone who watches over you, okay? I don't know if it has to do with this fire energy here. But you got the queen of wands, you got the queen of cups, and you have the knight of pentacles. And you got the wise counselor. Whatever you learn from this situation here, the one that gave you clarity. You got um you got a lot of knowledge. That came out of nowhere. We're the wise counselor. On top of the wise counselor, you have the page of cups, you have the two of pentacles, and you have the six of pentacles. Now what it could be maybe this ending that you went through, maybe it had something to do with the fire energy. Maybe with that fire energy gone, maybe it had you worried about finances, you know? You need to use your intuition, okay, babies? You all can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You're going to find the balance that you're looking for. You got the two of pentacles and you got the six of pentacles. You will achieve the balance you're looking for. Just trust yourself. You can do this. There's nothing you cannot do. You have the page of cups, you have the two of pentacles, and you have the six of pentacles. 
And then here you are, the Queen of Water. There's something here with the fire, um, with the air energy, the King of Air. There's definitely something up here. The King of Air broke your heart and it might've ended in court. Might've been someone else involved, but you feel balanced. I mean, this is for some reason you're still holding on to this. Maybe it's still something that's ongoing. I'm not sure. Maybe someone else was involved. Maybe that other person that was involved was the earth energy. And the one that's finishing is the air energy. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Because this, this relationship was not, it didn't have a whole lot of emotion in it, did it? We got the King of Swords, we got the Three of Swords, and we got the Justice card. That's about a broken heart. And that could be something legal. And remember, if you set out with integrity, you will win. What comes around goes around. And it could be that everything is going to work out. And don't you worry about a thing. You don't need to worry. Seriously. When we worry, it's, it's negative. You know, we give off this negative vibration. So if that's what our field is, pure negative energy, right? Can positivity come through there? You know, can we bring that in? We got to change here. We got to change all this around us. And we change it here and we change it up in here and things start changing. Really and truly, things start changing. It takes a while. You got to become aware. Pay attention. Open your eyes. Seriously. You'll be amazed at the things you will see. Forgive yourself. Hmm. Forgiveness is something else, eh? It's like a magic wand. So then you got the lovers. You got to make decisions about the heart. Got to make decisions about relationships and the heart. And it seems like you will. Something is being built here for you. Your finances will be fine. You'll be okay. All right? You will be okay. We got three pentacles on top of the lovers. Maybe you were, like I would say, worried about this breakup. I don't know. Something where finances are concerned. We got an air, air energy. We got an earth energy. And we got a fire energy. I think you'll be able to make your decision and things will start over for you. There will be a new beginning. Remember when there's an ending, there will always be new beginnings. You got the three of pentacles, you got the world and you got the release card on top of the lovers. And then you got the king of water feeling balanced now, aren't you? Because you're able to make your decision. You're able to accept the ending because you know the ending will bring in a new beginning. It's already, the new beginning has already started, hasn't it? You got some conflict. Conflict with the air energy. But you keep your eye on the prize and don't you give up, okay? There's some conflict here, for sure. There's conflict with you and this air energy. I don't know if y'all are in court. That's the feeling I get. I think someone else was involved. But there's conflict. You got the Five of Swords. You got the Queen of Swords. And you got the Star card. Now the Queen of Swords could also be that you're clearing away things that no longer serve you. And that conflict is out of here. And you're going to keep your eye on the prize. You're going to keep the faith and the hope alive. And you're not going to give up. You are not going to give up. No matter what. You're going to trust yourself. You're going to believe in you. You're going to know that all things are possible through you. If you open up your heart and you bring that love in. If you forgive yourself. We ain't got no saints here, you know. We don't. Whatever it is, whatever that you feel needs forgiving, whether it's someone or whether it's you. If you can look within, believe me, 
We all have things that we need to be forgiven about. We all do. We just have to be willing to face it. You know, some of us are brave enough to do that. Sometimes thinking about whatever the situation might have been might be a little embarrassing. It's okay. It's okay. You go within and you do some work. And you take care of you. And things will work out. It's got a lot of things here. No, you got a lot of energies. Now, there is some kind of conflict with the air energy here. But you've got the star card on top of that. I'm trying to think. I'm not going to pull any more card here. I'm going to pull a card from my angel and ancestors deck. I don't know why I want to do this. But I like how it ended here. That no matter what you 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 got over whatever was going on here. You're keeping focus. You're staying focused. And we're gonna see what other message here. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that you could get another little message and have a little bit more time. Because I don't want to move this. Because everything works out for you. So, cancer. Let's do one here. Pick one. Let's pick one. And this won't be for every reading. It's just for Cancer here. You got the Traveler. Move in a new direction. Move in a new direction, baby. The Traveler. The road you're on may... Be the road less traveled. But this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth. If it isn't about covering outer distance, it's about covering distance within. And you will be evolving every single moment of it. Remember to keep things simple and to lighten your load. Because that will make your journey more enjoyable. You're also being encouraged to see how far you've come. And how you've really grown as a person. Because the re this recognition will support you in going even further. And there's a good chance that along the way, you'll make new friends who will become companions for a lifetime. I love you, darlings. You take care of yourselves. Make the right choices. Go within. You can do this. There's nothing you can't do. Remember, there are possibilities now. And you are one of them. Do it with love. I love you, darlings. <laughs>